You good or do you want to move? No, I'm a sweat, bro. I'm a sweater. You're a sweat? Okay. Yeah. Here, maybe maybe put your the, the chairs there. Or we can sit here. That's what I did before. Yeah, that's that actually works. yeah. I have Dizzy Eight with me today. Yes. Someone who has been my top two nerdcore favorite artist ever since I started listening to Nerdcore. First of all, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> the bars. Do you know how much work you give me? Hey bro. I'm like that. He's like that. No, <laughs> he is, he is. Oh, gear shift, I'm on overdrive. I don't run from nothing, I just run with God. Helm on me, but it's still no facade. See the spirit on me, know there's more inside. Got the word with me, demons mortified. Um, he just came off of NPC, performed some great, catchy, amazing songs. I was actually telling him that while I was driving here, a lot of the songs were just you. Because you got melodies, you got rap, yeah. so like we could bounce off of those two different things yeah, yeah. And, and just enjoy that, right? Question for you in regards to that. When did you realize that you would have to work on your singing too and, and diversify in that way? It was always something I was always, I was always doing. Like I was a kid, I sung before I was rapping. I didn't um, know that. Yeah, I was like a little kid singing like in a choir. So like, I just happened to start rapping. Yeah. And then I was like, well, hey, um, well, that is smoking. That is crazy. Oh, that is I smoking. Should, that. That's what? nuts. The chairs. There, it was. There was. It was smoke coming off of the chair. I've never seen that before in life. Like, that's nuts. We almost started a fire right here. That was crazy. <laughs> Cause you hot, bro. But, um, I wanted to say that joke, but <laughs> he's too quick with it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I was in a I was in a choir when I was like choir kid. I mean, not necessarily choir, but I, we sung a lot. My aunt song. It just so, became a thing. Yeah, my dad, did. Like, my dad played gospel music. I would send the gospel music. So like, it's just something that I did. And when I started rapping, I was just like, you know what? Let me let me try just singing on top of it. Like this is like early on, like my first. Yeah, a few songs was always me. It was like it was me singing too as well, and so like I just developed them both at the same time. And I always find it boring to just rap, like just rap. We love it though. Yeah, like, like <laughs> we love it. Though. I like rapping, but like I I, I lose attention sometimes with myself, mm -hmm. and so I like to switch things up as often as I can to make it an entertaining yeah, project. Yeah, uh, what I feel um it, when when it comes to the switch. The switching that that you're talking about here is i was seeing this in my reactions um i don't know what i'm getting with you but like i feel it happens in waves and i feel that that matches whatever you're feeling you know sometimes there'll be like a few love songs back to back to back or wholesome songs and then some motivating ones yeah. and then some high energy sometimes a bit aggressive sometimes just melodies right do you think that that goes with your own emotional wave oh yeah like definitely a lot of times when i make stuff it's from it's for me too so like if, if i'm making something motivational it's probably because i'm in a bad place I, I make a lot of songs to help myself mm -hmm. if i'm down i go in the studio and tell myself you're not down you up are, are you going to be up focus when i when i'm like depressed i try to make happy songs if i'm in a having a tough time late like when relate with my wife or something like yeah. that i make a love song to remind that's, myself that's, that I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, something like my dad told me um, a while back is like, hey, if you're upset, do the opposite of what you're feeling. It was a time when I was depressed and I made depressed music and my dad was like, stop doing that. All you're doing is feeding it. If you're depressed, go make a happy song. I said, like, I can't, why can't you? And like, I said, well, I don't feel it. Do you control your feelings or do your feelings control you? And I was like, oh. That's the first time I've heard something like that because usually artists will tell me, I was feeling good, so I made a good feeling song. I was feeling bad, I made a bad feeling song. Um, but you're doing the opposite, and um, I mean, I'm sure you're aware, but that effect that you're having on yourself while you're making that song, yeah. you're having that on other people too that are yeah. listening to the song, right? Like they might be feeling down and hearing a happy song. You know? yeah. And so, so shout out to you for that. I, I've never heard that like uh, as a way that artists make music. So yeah. I think that, that might be a unique thing um, to you. Yeah, I, 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 I'm really big on messages. Like, I, like, I don't listen to me, to me, to, to, I, don't, I listen to myself a lot. So it's just like, I want to make sure that I'm not only feeding myself with the right thing, but I'm also helping feed other people with the right thing. I'm really, you know, with my faith is, I'm really strong in my faith. So like, I'm, I'm a stronger believer in God. And I, I like to make sure that like my stuff is something that's pleasing to him. Yeah. Like I, I don't want him to look at what I'm doing and be like, ah, that wasn't it. 
That was <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> you know. Is there a song then where you feel like, why did I do that? Oh man, like all all the music, I dro- <laughs> all the music I dropped in twenty twenty one. All my aggressive gun bar stuff. Okay, I, okay, but uh, I'm just gonna say they were fire. Okay, they just were like fire. technically, lyrically, they, like the message aside of w- what it actually means, just like what you did with the wordplay. Yeah, I, that was always hard to me. Yeah, I think it was hard too. That's why I said it. <laughs> feel like, but like, if I look back and think about it, like. I did it. I can't take back what I did. And I would never take the music down. But like for me, moving forward, like like if you notice, like like me, I, I'm sure you've noticed, like my music has made a change. Yeah. Over the last like few months, like six months, six, six seven months, it's because I want to be intentional about like like even like here at the NPC, just like these kids are in the crowd. Like I want to make sure that I'm feeding kids with the right thing. That's what right. I help them grow into productive people in society. It's going to help them be help them along their life and their journey. I don't want to put something negative into their life yeah. that puts that sets them off on the wrong path or feed something negative that's already in them. Yeah. I, I want I want to be feeding their spirits with something that's positive, that's something that's great. And I use, you know, I'm a I'm a big nerd, so I use the things that inspire me and that also inspire them to try and like draw a connection to it. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think that that doesn't also that applies to the audience too, but um, at least from the people I've spoken to, it also applies to artists that you work with. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people have actually shouted you out in interviews um, in, in some of these. Thank you, guys. Um, Thanks, guys. <laughs> Gino Five has actually thanked you in, in one of his songs, right? Oh, yeah, that was dope. Um, you know, I, I see that you have some, some of that effect on people. Um, do, you, do you think that that's something that you got from your father, like you said before? Or is it something that you developed as well in the last few years? Right through your music, maybe. I, I'd say that I attest all my influence to God. Um, I, I I don't take any credit for stuff like that. Like, I think that God put me where I needed to be at to, to have an effect on people. So if I if I'm having an effect in people, it's God in me having an effect in people. It's not me. Um, it's just tools that He. I, I use myself. As, I I think of myself as a vessel. As a, it's a tool that God's using to 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 help people. So I don't take no credit for these things. I'm I'm. I'll give you credit, but but that's, that's me. That's me. Uh, um, but okay, just to to slightly swivel off topic a bit because yeah. this was like a huge just moment for me personally. So, <laughs> so I was um, gonna do that earlier, but I was like, I'm not gonna mess with him. <laughs> <laughs> but he would mess with you, right? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> um, but I, I posted um, on, on Twitter, like, I, I was just going through some of my videos, and I posted one of my Call of Duty montages back when I was doing Call of Duty, uh, just all that stuff, um, sniping off, uh, just all those types of videos, uh, which I have not done at least for, like, a decade or so. But I was, like, bro, you were so... Bro, I, listen, bro, I used to want to join Third Eye Sniping so much, bro. Like, I... I if you had told me... Like, bro, <laughs> I think I think at that time what, what clans I was in, I was in Astro. I don't know if you remember Astro. Yes. I was yeah. In Astro. We we did some um, what do you call like those private matches like the, the scrims. Yeah, yeah. The scrims yeah. of Astro. Yeah. I was in Astro. I was in Tame. So that was in Tame before it turned into Astro. What was your tag? Tame DZ. Tame DZ. See I, see, I wasn't on a sniping team. I was on a graphic design team. I used to do graphic oh, design. maybe that's so, why. Okay. So I, I was I was on a graphic design team for Tame and Astro, um, and I was in Psycho, Team Psycho for a split second, and they used my music for some of their songs too. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. But but what happened in that moment was um, I posted that, and Dizzy Eight actually replied or quoted. This is it. you. <laughs> yeah. And he took a screenshot of the montage and he's like, I liked this. And it was like a montage released like 11 years ago. That was crazy. I was like, how is this happening? Like now I'm reacting to your music and I'm the one like that just keeps up with everything that you're doing. And it, it was it was kind of a full circle moment. Yeah, a small me. world, man. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I that, that was just like, to me, that made my like whole month. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I, I was like, oh, this is so sick. I told my brother, I'm like, remember when I used to do those montages? And I was like playing music um, in the car on the way here. I'm like, yeah, he actually watched those montages. Yeah, bro, so, you're, so, you're fire, bro. Uh, thank you. Uh, but I wanted to shout you out for, for you know, always 
um, you know, even interacting with me and other people on Twitter and, and interacting with everyone that listens to your music a lot. Yeah. I feel like that's the thing you do um, while being consistent, too, because you're releasing a lot um, compared to everyone else. And you do content on Instagram, too. All his links will be in the description. You do it on uh, just everything, right? Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. Yeah. Um, how do you juggle all that on top of, you know, your wife and your relationship? Oh man, I I I I, I struggle with that. Yeah. Like as a, um, well, my wife is not here right now, but um, that is a that is a struggle right now, with just juggling the two. I'm trying to find like a work life balance thing, but like. Um, people, people might not know about just about me, but I have ADHD. So like, I, I either the reason why you see so much stuff from me from me is because I hyper focus and do a lot at one time, and then I'm able to like compensate for it. But it's like, so you found a way to like make it work for you. You know, I'd say it's working. Is it? Did I make it work? No. Is is it <laughs> working? Not fully. I 100 percent needs to be need to be more organized. Okay, um, but compared to a lot of artists, you know, like you're like way more consistent way more on top of it I think, so i think you are doing good i think maybe to you personally it, yeah, it I, I, I guess i guess so i, 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 I think for me it's become such a habit like dropping music has become a habit for me that's something that i like for me i never thought music to be a backup job it was never a plan there was never a plan b i never had a plan b it was always a plan a so for me me dropping a song every two weeks is the same as as a regular person going to a nine to five it's, whether I want to or not, it has to get done. So, yeah. there are times that I don't want to make music in some weeks, but I force myself. Yeah. So I, I guess like creativity to you is, is a bit of a muscle. You just have to get the reps in, and then mm -hmm. once it starts flowing. It's, it's, it's once I get in, once I get into the studio, I have to put myself in the environment to be inspired. Okay. Um, sometimes, I, sometimes I get lazy. I don't think I get lazy. It's just I don't have the energy to put myself in that environment but sometimes i force myself to be in that environment and I, eventually i get inspired um a, a lot a lot of things that so something that i've done this year that i feel like that's made it a lot easier for me to make music is that before we make a before i make a song each week i'll pray i say god i'll i'll talk to god i'll, I'll say my heavenly father come and 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 bless me with the song that you need me to release this week yeah I, you write through me you use me and every time I've done that, it's been a great, great song. It's been a great song, and I've gotten it like, like that. Yeah. So I, that's why I'm so big in since it's not me. So I just, I just feel like if it was just me, there's no way I could have kept up with the stuff that I'm doing right now. Yeah, it's crazy what you do. <laughs> he's a, he's a bit of a monster. Um, I, I just wanted to touch up a little bit on. Um, you, you work with a lot of people, but but you'll have some regulars, right? Like Errol Allen, for example. Um, he actually told me how, how you guys connected um, and you realized he was um, friends with, with uh, his cousin and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, how, how do you, is that a similar story with everyone? Or like, how, do you, how did you like so, get to that, the, the circle of people that you work with consistently? So, Errol, his friends, his, his cousins to my best friends, um, mix into the contest like years ago. And say I was, hi to, to Darnell. My guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. But, uh, no, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, sorry but, to cut you off. No, you're fine. But, um, so with Mix, Mix into the contest when I was still on YouTube rap side, and I was like, this guy's phenomenal. I found a gym. <laughs> you, I'm working with you all the time. Yeah. And Gino actually was friends, is friends with Mix, but I was a fan of Gino before. Okay. So like, I used to, like, Gino used to be big, like, I used to be smaller than Gino. So like, I was a, I was a, I was a, like, to me, Gino was like a superstar. Okay. So I was like, I saw, I always saw Gino on my, on He's my, got a bit of a demeanor to him too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, 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 I saw, I always saw him on my, on my timeline on Instagram. He used to, he used to be, Gino used to be popping on Instagram all the time. Yeah. So I would, I would, I followed him. And when I knew that he was friends with Mix, I said, yo, you think about it? <laughs> yo, let's, let's, let's work yeah. together. <laughs> and we just all kind of just connected and linked um, to, like, to be where we're at right now. Yeah. Um, and just, like, we all, we, like, Bob, we, like, family now. That's great. No, I, I love seeing that those interactions. And I think through your music, it's made me more aware of it as well. Because before, it was just like, oh, it's cool, and they're on the track together. But, 
you know, now you that you rock more um, in, in terms of the, the details of how you're feeling um, and, and how you see relationships and stuff. That's what you, you, a lot of your lyrics um, will pertain to. I, I can connect the dots a bit more and, yeah. and see that. Um, so since all this started, like, like, like you said, even before Nerdcore, um, I, I'd heard you, I, I didn't hear like your own personal music, but I'd heard you before Nerdcore um, through like YouTube ciphers and um, some, some of those other content. Yeah. Um, how did you get to the point where you pivoted to, to Nerdcore? Or, or, you know, was it a decision or did it, it gradually was, happen? It was Game Boy Jones. Game Boy Jones? <laughs> it was Game Boy Jones. Yeah. So I was in a YouTube rap scene, but I was doing Nerdcore features. Mm -hmm. And the first person that featured me on anything was Game Boy Jones. The story's cool. It was Game Boy Jones that first introduced me into the scene. Yeah. Um, and he found out about me through, there was this guy named Ali Tamanit. Um, he used to like do like this thing called Friday, um, Friday Flow. And every every week, you um, he'd post a beat and you'd make a video on Instagram um, rapping to it. And I would do that. And that's how Game Boy found out about me. And so through that, Game Boy reached out and said, hey, I'm doing this Mortal Kombat cipher. And so on this Mortal Kombat cipher, it's me, him, and Russ is on it. Russ is here's my voice. And he asks Game Boy, he's like, hey, can I like, like, can you tell Dizzy I want to, I want to put him on a song? It's like, that's sick. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I love the songs you, you two have together. It's so like, a balance there. Yeah. So I'm just like, just kind of just one just after the other. Yeah. So right and then Russ, Russ just put me on the Hokage cipher. And from there, it was like going. I, I, I did her nerdcore stuff a little bit before that. I did a song with DPS on this channel. Um, before the big one that everyone knows, Drip, I was on a Samurai Jack song a while back. And me and Fable had they worked together like a while back. Um, I was on a Bond song. This is like early, early. I, I I didn't drop any nerdcore music. I was still doing YouTube rap. Yeah. But I I featured on their song, and I'm having a conversation with Game Boy, and Game Boy was saying like, "Hey, you should do nerdcore full time." I was like, "Oh, I don't know." He said, "Bro, you're already here. You're already doing features with everybody." I was like, "I don't know." He's like, "Dude, just do it." And so I was like, "You know what? Okay." Cool. I did it. I, nice. I, dropped, I dropped my nice. first cipher. From the arrow. It was all the way. Shout out to Game Boy Jones. Yeah, Game I Boy think Jones. he gives some great advice. Um, he's talked to me as well a few times, and I feel like he has a lot of knowledge in like the the back end of yeah. you know how how to set things up marketing wise yeah. and, and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, but but shout out to him. I want to make sure this is still recording at the end here. Um, but uh, do you want to shout out anything at the end? Um, first, of, first and foremost, I want to shout out God. Um, without him, I wouldn't be here. Um, shout out to, to my, 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 my guys. Yeah. Gino Mix, Errol, shout out to Keita Weed. It's my, it's my, it's my homegirl. Shout yeah, out to my wife. Um, my mom, my dad. Shout out to the, to the audience, man. Like, yes. I just feel like you guys make everything work well. So, like... I don't do this for myself. I do this for like how I impact you guys. And yo, know, being here at NPC let me know that what we do is so important. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's amazing. I, I shout out to the entire community because we have too many people. <laughs> and it, I can't I can name everybody, but shout out everybody in the community. Yeah. Um, just a big family. Yeah. No, no, thank you. I, I think like you're a very positive person, and and you're someone that has like. Uh, a bit of an aura around <laughs> in a way so uh, thank you for even agreeing to this it, it, it means a lot to me um, you know I mean you've seen some of my reactions I always say you're my top two top two every single time and and to finally get to meet you and talk and everything it was cool um, hey, bro, it was dope. It was me, man. thank you thank you yo 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 perfect it's the boy perfect. I do stuff